Welcome to Hard Hat Engineer. In this video, you will learn about the pilot operated safety valves. You will learn about working principle, types, key components, application, advantages and disadvantages of pilot operated safety valves. Let's get started. What is a pilot operated safety valve? A pilot operated safety valve, also called POSV, is a type of pressure relief valve that is used in systems where a more precise control on pressure relief is required. It is an alternative to the traditional spring-loaded safety valve and provides better performance in certain conditions such as high pressure and large capacities. It uses a smaller valve known as pilot valve to control the opening and closing of a larger main valve. Here in the image, you can see the pilot operated safety valve that is used in the process plant. It is available in two different designs. The first design is the direct acting type. In this design, the pilot directly controls three different flow passages. One connects to the pressure sensing line, another to the dome of the main valve, and the third to the vent. The second design is called indirect acting POSV. In this design, a spring-loaded pressure relief valve controls the operation of the main valve by the fluid being discharged. Most POSV you see in the field is of these types. You can also see the key components marked on the image. Main valve is teeth larger valve that opens to release pressure when needed. Pilot valve is a smaller valve that controls the operation of the main valve by regulating the pressure in the control chamber. Control chamber, also known as piston or dome, is a space above the main valve where system pressure is held to keep the valve closed. The inlet port is where the pressurized fluid enters and the outlet is where the fluid is released when the valve opens. Other parts are the same as any other pressure safety valve, so not discussing here. Now, let's look at the working principle of pilot operated safety valve. The pilot operated safety valve works by utilizing the system pressure itself to open and close the valve. Instead of a large spring controlling the main valve, a smaller, pilot valve controls the operation. Here, you can see the tubing that connects the system pressure with the pilot valve. During normal system pressure, the pilot valve is closed and pressure in the control chamber is equal to or higher than the pressure below the main valve. Due to this, the main valve stays closed, preventing flow through the safety valve. When system pressure reaches or exceeds the set point, the pilot valve opens this will cut off the fluid supply to the dome and relieve pressure in the control chamber. This allows the main valve to open, releasing pressure from the system. Once the pressure drops below the set point, the pilot valve closes and pressure rebuilds in the control chamber, causing the main valve to reseat close. If you want to learn more about 18 types of valves and their subtypes, you can check my full course. It is extremely affordable with lifetime access and comes with a 30 days no question asked money back guarantee. So don't forget to check. The link is given in the description. Now let's look at the types of POSV. Each type of pilot operated safety valve is suited for different operational needs based on the system requirements such as pressure levels, fluid type and response speed. The first is non-flowing or non-bleeding type. In this type, the pilot valve doesn't allow fluid flow during operation. Stopping the bleed of system fluid into the dome during the valve opening cycle minimizes the possibility of impurities entering the pilot that could interfere with the pilot operation. In general, the non-flowing pilot is the preferred pilot. The second is the flowing or bleeding type. In this design, the pilot valve allows continuous flow through the pilot to vent during the entire venting cycle. The next two types modulating and snap acting type is how POSV opens during the operation. In the modulating type, the main valve gradually opens and closes for precise control. Whereas in snap acting type, valves either fully open or close based on pressure. It is also known as on off type. The last is the balance type. It is designed to handle systems with fluctuating back pressure without affecting set point accuracy. Like any other PSV, pilot operated safety valves are used in process industries that deal with pressurized systems. These valves are found in high pressure systems like gas processing plants, 
steam systems, chemical plants, and high-pressure pipelines where large capacities need to be relieved. Advantages of POSV Precise pressure control is possible. It provides more accurate pressure relief, which is especially useful in systems with fluctuating pressures. It has a smaller footprint. Due to the absence of a large spring, these valves are more compact and lighter than traditional PSV of same size. Pilot-operated safety valves offer high capacity. They can handle large flows and high pressures efficiently. The operating costs are lower. POSVS are often more efficient than spring-loaded valves, requiring less maintenance and allowing for longer intervals between servicing. It also reduces set-point drift. Traditional spring-loaded valves may experience set-point drift over time due to spring relaxation, but POSVS maintain a more stable set-point. Disadvantages of POSV Complex design The pilot valve system is more complex than traditional valves, which can make installation and troubleshooting more difficult. It is more sensitive to contaminants. The pilot system can be affected by dirt or debris, which can cause malfunction or incorrect operation. Higher initial cost. Although they may save money over time, POSVS tend to be more expensive upfront due to their more advanced design. Slower response time than regular PSV. In some cases, the operation of the pilot valve can introduce a slight delay in response time compared to direct spring-loaded valves. This is the end of the video. Please like and share this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. If you have a video topic in mind, drop it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.